Today is a very special day, culminating in two grand celebrations. The first is a ribbon cutting ceremony that just took place, officiating the move of our school to our new home, Barbados. I am proud to have been a part of the student body in this transition. I also want to welcome the students who are here uh, with us who took part in the move from St. Martin. We didn't lose a single student, and although there were many challenges, both expected and unexpected, thank you for being patient and understanding uh, as the details were worked out. I have found my new home here in Barbados for the rest of my basic sciences career. The second part of today's celebration is our white coat ceremony. This is a very special event to show appreciation for the new students to our school and to welcome them in their pursuit of a medical education. We celebrate you now. As we can all see, our students come from many countries and from many backgrounds. We have different stories about life and how we came to find our passion in medicine. But there is one thing that we all share, our reason for being here, to become doctors. You are training to become modern day physicians. You represent, if you look around at yourselves, you represent a cross section of the world. Not of a town, not of a village, but of the world. Varying cultures, varying philosophies, varying values. You look a little scared. Let me give you one good piece of advice. The only thing that's happened is that you are learning a new language. <laughs> if I say to you now, I'm going down into the second portion of the duodenum and I'm going to pick up the papilla batter and I'm going to do a papillotomy and extract the stone, you have no idea what the hell I'm saying, right? <laughs> In two years, you will know exactly what I'm saying. Each one of your nations, each one of your cultures has produced medical knowledge that has efficacy that is proven, quantitative efficacy. AUIS embraces that. We have continued as a resource poor country to demonstrate that investment in our human resources, and in this case, investment as you are investing in your education, is something that is critical to our success as a nation. I therefore would recommend to both students and faculty that you find time to enjoy what Barbados has to offer. I want again to say thank you very much to the visionaries, both Dr. Lane and Mr. Pinckney and team, um, for choosing Barbados. Milo and Ed have separately indicated to me already that they have reworked their, 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 their Carl system, which is the technology used for communication and the whole management of uh, e-health, so to speak, and data management of information systems for doctors and patients and that they're ready to roll it out, not only for the benefit of the students, but they're going to allow us here in Barbados, in the Ministry of Health, to share this technology and to see how we can also apply that to our practice in our polyclinics, in our hospital. And I think there's a, a real win-win opportunity in this regard. We have a vision for a healthier world through building a foundation of physicians trained in the integrative-based medicine. We want to train medical students in evidence-based, complementary, and alternative modalities in addition to modern medicine. It was the desire to join the medical community that brought all of you to Barbados, the desire to learn how to care for those in pain. And today, as you don your white coats, I hope you will reflect in the profound responsibility that the, this code symbolizes. 